Special thanks to Patreon support of the Red Deer for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare 2 here bringing you another Minecraft sci-fi vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we will be going ahead and building the Eldwiss. The Eldwiss is a medium tank in the main tank of Squad 7. It is from the series Valkyrie Chronicles. Um, and I don't really know much about it. I've never seen Valkyrie Chronicles or really know anything about it. Um, this is just, I guess, a tank in the, uh, in the, uh, movie or the, the show and, uh, all that fun stuff. Again, I don't know much about it and, uh, I feel like if I were to go ahead and elaborate on anything that I'm reading here from the, uh, uh Valkyria, um, wiki, I would have no clue I'm talking about so I'm just not gonna even bother with that but anyways it's some kind of tank from uh, this uh, animated anime uh, show I believe um, this uh, tank itself it's a uh, pretty cool design it's got a blue uh, kind of a double different couple shades of blue I guess in it to kind of you know create its color scheme and uh, overall I'm pretty happy with the way it came out I think it's a pretty cool interesting build and uh, I'm just uh, overall pretty happy with it. Anyways, this is a Patreon request to build, so I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter The Red Deer for making this build possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to go ahead and he head to the link down in the description. That'll take you to my Patreon page where you can go ahead and pledge a small amount um, each month and, you know, basically support me directly and uh, basically help my channel out pretty much and, you know, earn a cool uh, benefit of having a vehicle of your choice um, every month. Uh, pretty cool deal, and uh, it's pretty awesome if you guys want to check it out. Of course, link is down in the description, as I mentioned before. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, vehicle itself and kind of see what we have going on here. Um, yeah, so uh, pretty cool build. Uh, so there's a lot of detail on it. Um, I did actually build one of these, I believe, in a live stream a long, long time ago. Uh, since then, it's been completely revamped. I pretty much redesigned everything from the ground up. Uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit for some reason of like a Panzer IV kind of chassis, something like that. I don't know. Um, I get some Panzer IV vibes from it um, for whatever reason. Um, you got the main gun here. Again, I don't know much about this tank, so I can't tell you exactly what size of a gun it is. But it's got the main gun here. You got the two hatches, one for the uh, probably the assistant driver and also the driver itself. Um, the front headlight up here. And there's also a light up here to the side mounted. And um, I believe that actually light needs to be over on the air side too, so I'll be sure to fix that uh, in a sec here. Uh, we have some, you know, like different like uh, pouches and stuff like that that are kind of a brown color strapped to the sides of the turret and also the um, hull down here. So pretty interesting on that. Uh, lots of side panels, all that stuff as you can see around here. Come along to the back. Here's what the back looks like. Again, very, um, you know, simple, nothing too fancy. And then on this side of the turret, it's a little bit different. Uh, we have these little things that jut out right here, and they had like little numbers on it. I think it might be like the unit number or something like that. Uh, but it was weird, these weird little boxes that stuck out that had the numbers on it. And uh, other than that, it's pretty much the same over here on this side as it was on the air side. Um, up on the top here, uh, you have uh, you know just some detailing stuff like that. You have obviously the commander's hatch or commander's cupola right here, and there's also the communications. Um, antenna or whatever you kind of want to call it. It's kind of a weird looking antenna thing. So that's what we have going on there. Overall, that's pretty much uh, the Eldwiss. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. I think it's a very interesting, unique build and definitely something different that breaks up, you know, pretty much what we've been traditionally doing on the channel. So uh, it's good to have something new brought into the, uh, you know, fray of vehicles and uh, hope you guys do enjoy it. Other than that, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off our first layer, layer one. Alright guys, so moving on to our first layer, we have layer 1. For layer 1, what we want to do to go ahead and get started with is we're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick half slab just like this. After we have that done, we're going to place down a nether brick top slab coming off of it. And this is going to be pretty much our left front here of the tracks. Our tank's going to be facing this direction here just like this one. So facing that way, this is the left side of our tracks right here. After we have that done, now we do have a different color palette. And basically what I would recommend is I'm just going to kind of randomly place these blocks down. Uh, you can see it just kind of gives a random texture to the top here. Uh, you could even just use uh, light blue and cyan wool um, as a mixture on here. That would look good as well. Um, or you could just kind of have some kind of set pattern. For me, I just kind of randomly did it. So it's kind of, you know, up there for you guys to do as well. Um, so you can just go ahead and randomly kind of do it. I'm going to try to copy kind of what I did for that one, that model over here. Uh, but, you know, just want to alternate blocks and stuff like that. Block choices and everything like that to pretty much make your build. So 
Uh, we're gonna place down whatever wool color block you choose. Uh, we're gonna place down some uh, two stone brick stairs back to back. We also wanna place down a stone button on that wool block. Uh, we're gonna place down another wool block, stone button. We're gonna place down two um, stone brick stairs back to back, and another wool block and a stone button on that uh, block as well. Two stone brick stairs back to back, just like that. Then we're gonna place down an air brick half slab and then an air brick top slab coming off of it like so. Once you have that done, you want to go ahead and go in between your, or you want to go ahead and go from the stone brick slab here on the back, or this uh, air brick slab here on the back. We're going to place down a row of five of stone brick top slabs across from it. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back up here to the front. We're going to go to this air brick half slab here. We're also going to place down a row of five of stone brick top slabs coming off that air brick slab like so. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, stone brick slabs and just go ahead and fill in the whole bottom here. And this is going to create the very base of your tank. If you want to try to put some kind of interior in this tank, then this will be the bottom floor you'll be working with. Uh, I don't really know if this tank has too much interior space, but I think there would be a decent amount to try to fit something in if you guys want to. Um, so we're going to go and fill this whole space in, just like so to create a nice base, as I mentioned, for the tank. So just like that. Once we have that complete, we're just going to go and again grab our um, narrow brick slabs, our stairs, full blocks, and stuff like that. And we're going to go ahead and just basically uh, put a, you know, another... Uh, row down here basically copy what we did on the other side and the thing about it is it's exactly the same so it's going to be very easy just copying um, this over like so again it's you know a little bit of a process here and if I if I'm going a little bit too fast for you, you can just go ahead and look over it on the other side there and see what we did because it's exactly the same an air brick half slab and an air brick top slab coming off of it on the very back here we're going to go ahead and take skeleton skulls we're going to place down one and two on both sides here followed by an end rod in between the skeleton skulls and once you have that all done, that's going to do it for layer 1. And with that, we can move on to layer 2. Alright guys, so moving on to layer 2. For layer 2, we're going to start off by going to our front here. We're going to place down another brick stair on both sides on top of those another brick top slabs. With that finished, we want to go ahead and take our wool. We're going to go ahead and basically, you know, again, place an alternating pattern going all the way across. You could also do this all in one color too if you want to and go back and randomize it a little later on. But I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, kind of mix and match the colors currently. Um, and then we just want to place down two stone buns on the two wool blocks on the outer side there and not in the middle. Uh, with that finished, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, wool block like this on both sides. And we're also going to place down a stone bun come off that wool block. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a nether brick top slab. Going back, so we're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves some nether brick uh, slabs. So we're going to place down a nether brick top slab like this on both sides. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and go back one and two more blocks and then one and two more blocks back. And actually, we're going to go, and go back just one more nether brick top slab. So a total of three back from this, giving you a row of four like so. Uh, with that finished, on the inside here, we're going to want to go and take our wool again and create a alternating pattern like this on the inside here. Uh, to kind of just go ahead and fill in the space on the inside here so we can't see into the uh, inside of the tank, obviously, from the outside. Uh, we also need to go and grab ourselves a spruce wood uh, slab. We're going to place down a spruce wood top slab on this first nether brick top, top slab on both sides like that. With that finished, uh, we want to go ahead and then switch to stone brick uh, slabs. We're going to go ahead and place down a total of one, two, three, four, and uh, five stone brick top slabs back, followed by uh, a wool block and a stone bun come off that wool block. Uh, we also want to go ahead and go to where this uh, cyan stain clay block is, or really just any kind of wool block right here, this last wool block here for this wheel. We're actually going to uh, need to break that button off of it and we're going to place on a darker wood fence gate. Open up like so, and then we're going to place down a stone button over it. With that all finished, on the back here, we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves an air brick stair again. Place down an air brick stair on the back like so. Along the inside here, we're going to need to go ahead and take our wool, and again, create kind of an alternate pattern like this on the inside here, to basically fill in the space right, right all in here. Uh, with that finished, we're going to go ahead and then go to the back here. Now for the back, we are actually going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves some sea lanterns. We're going to go ahead and break this block, place down a sea lantern, followed by a second one over. We're then going to place down a wool block, followed by two more sea lanterns over the side. Coming off this wool block right here, we're going to place down another wool block with a stone bun uh, on it, like so. We then want to grab ourselves some uh, light blue stained glass panes. We're going to place down one and two on these uh, sea lanterns, and then same thing over here, one and two, just like that. Now over here on the left side, we're going to basically copy the same design here for uh, what we did on the right side there. So it's practically the same thing. I'm just going to go and kind of do it real quickly. Um, you can look over at the other side if you need to. Uh, but very simple, just kind of copying the same thing over again. And of course, we can't forget our darker fence gate, which is located coming off this top slab like that. 
And then um, also, uh, don't forget to put that stone button back on that block. Anyways, once you guys have that all finished, that's going to do it for uh, layer 2. And with that, we can move on to layer 3. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer 3. For layer 3, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to our very center block here in this row of 5 here of wool. We're going to place down a stone brick slab on top of it, uh, the center block, followed by an item frame coming off of it, a glass block in the item frame, and a sign covered up in the item frame, kind of like that. Uh, with that finished on top of these uh, dark or nerve brick stairs on both sides, we're going to place down a spruce wood slab on top of it, followed by a, a spruce wood stair facing this direction like this on both sides. Once you have that done, we're going to go and grab ourselves a stone brick stair. We're going to place down a stone brick stair like this on the backs of these corner stairs like that to create the, or basically turn the dark or the spruce wood stairs into corner stairs. With that done, uh, over here on the right side, we're going to place down one and two uh, wool blocks. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone brick slab. We're going to place down a stone brick slab right here over this space, and that's going to be the viewport there for the driver, which we'll uh, kind of finish off in the next layer. Um, continuing on, we're going to place down a spruce wood stair on top of this uh, spruce wood top slab on both sides there, and uh, we then want to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off that uh, the side here of the spruce wood stair toward the front. Now in between uh, these stairs here, we're going to go ahead and again want to make an alternating pattern of wool right here where the stone brick slab is. We're actually going to go ahead and swap the, this space out for a stone block. So we're going to place down a stone block right here and again we're just going to continue our wool alternating pattern out to the side like that. With that finished, uh, we then want to go and do the same thing for our wool again. So another kind of alternating pattern. Again, it doesn't really matter too much. Just an alternating pattern of our blue wools that we were using. We're then going to grab ourselves a light gray banner. We're going to place down a light gray banner here on both sides um, on those wool blocks. Uh, we're going to take our wool blocks again and do another one of those alternating patterns. So uh, very simple, uh, just, you know, again, this alternating pattern going all the way to the side. And for this section here, we're actually going to grab ourselves a white banner. We're going to place down a white banner here on both sides. Going ahead and get to on, we're going to go ahead and again take our wool. We're going to go ahead and go all the way across uh, just like this. Uh, we may want to break this up, so if you have like a big long row of something, you may want to you know, break it up here and there, um, and all that stuff just to make it look a little bit better. So uh, just like that, all the way off to the side, and on both sides here, we're just going to place down a gray, light gray banner. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a scion, uh, or just a wool block here, going back on both sides here, followed by a second block, like that. When we get to this section here, we're going to place down two blocks, going toward the middle, so like so. And then uh, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves uh, wool again, and we're just going to place down a row that goes all the way across again of wool like this. Again, that alternating pattern. On the sides here, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone button, place it down on each side of this uh, block after these uh, left throughout light gray banner. We're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves some spruce wood slabs. We're going to place down one and two spruce wood slabs after that stone button. Again, on both sides here. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a light gray banner, cyan banner, blue banner, whatever you want to use here. We're just going to place down this banner here on uh, both sides and, you know, of course we can alternate it as well. Uh, just a banner there on both sides. Uh, for this section back here, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two uh, wool blocks back. We're going to go ahead and go over to this side we're going to place down one and two wool, blo wool blocks as back as well. And actually this uh, wool block here, we're actually going to swap out for a stone brick top slab. So my bad there and we're just going to go ahead and place down a banner next to it. So this should have been a... Uh, should have been should have basically looked something kind of like this is what we wanted for that So we're gonna place a nice stone brick top slab here on both sides We're gonna place down a banner pretty much over it to kind of cover it up like so on the uh, inside section here We want to grab ourselves some cyan uh, clay We're gonna go ahead and place down one and two cyan clay blocks one and two and then same thing over here one and two one and two in this space in the middle here We're gonna place down of course some alternating wool blocks going back like so We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone brick stairs. We're gonna place down one and two Come off those uh, cyan stink clay blocks and then one and two over here as well. In between the stairs, we're just going to place down a stone brick half slab, just like that. Um, also, we want to go ahead and go to this space right here in between these two banners. We're going to place down a stone button on both sides here. And I just want to do a double check here to make sure I didn't miss anything. I think I am good to go. So, once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for layer three. And with that, we can move on to layer four. Alright guys, so moving on to layer 4. For layer 4, we're going to go ahead and start off by taking a stone slab. We're going to place down a stone slab on top of this uh, stone block like so. We're also going to place down a stone slab over here on the right side. That's kind of above on this block right here. 
And that's going to be the same thing there on both sides there for our hatches for our driver and of course our assistant driver. Over here on the in front of the slab here on the left or on the right side, uh, we're going to place down a redstone repeater on top of that block like so. Over on the opposite side, we're going to grab ourselves one of our uh, blue uh, colored carpets. We're going to place it down on top of that half side like that to create the driver's viewport. Uh, with that done, we're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone button. We're going to place down a stone button in between these half slabs. And then to the sides of these uh, slabs, we're going to place down a iron trap door on both sides. Coming off the iron trap door, just like we did in the front, we're going to place down two iron frames. Or we're going to place down an iron frame on both sides, followed by a glass block on both iron frames. And a sign also covering up the iron frames, like so, for some, you know, the headlights. With that complete, uh, we want to go and then grab ourselves some stone buttons. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone button behind each of these stone slabs. And we're also going to place down a stone button on both sides, like so. Going ahead and skipping back to this row right here. We're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves a black uh, wool block. We're going to place down a black wool block here in the center, followed by another brick stair like this on both sides. After you have that done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a, some stone brick slabs. We're going to place down one and two stone brick uh, top slabs coming off these two narrow brick stairs on both sides, just like that. Going ahead and going back from this, we're going to go, ahead and go back and grab ourselves some more of our blue colored blocks. And again, alternating blocks, we're going to place down just a blue block uh, on one or a wool block on one side and a narrow wool block on the other side and um, all that stuff. Also coming off these blocks here, we're, not go we're going to go ahead and actually grab ourselves some tripwire hooks and we're going to place down a tripwire hook on both sides. After that's complete, we're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves a quartz block. We're going to place down a quartz block on both sides, followed by a stone brick up down stair that comes off the quartz full block like that. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves some uh, wool again. We're going to go ahead and again make an alternating pattern across uh, for wool across the back. And coming off these, uh, this row three here of wool full blocks, we're going to place down two rows of three of stone brick top slabs. With that finished, we then want to go ahead and place down a stone button here on the uh, right side, right over here. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone, some a stone slabs, and we're actually going to place down stone slabs right here. So we're going to need to break those full blocks and place it down like that. Um, we're also going to go ahead and take some buttons. We're going to place down one and two across the back here, and then one and two over here on this side as well. Uh, just like we did in the front with our carpet here, we're going to need to go and place it down on top of a slab. So on the back here, we're going to just place down some carpet on top of those two slabs, uh, just like that. And uh, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some brick slabs. And over here on the left side of the tank, we're going to place down two brick slabs like that. Um, Look like it was some kind of fire extinguisher or something of that sort um, strapped on the side there. So that's what we, we have located there. And uh, just to kind of finish off, uh, we're going to place down a... Uh, spruce wood top slab coming off this quartz full block on both sides just like that once you guys have that all finished it's going to do it for layer four and with that let's go ahead and move on to layer five all right guys so going ahead and move on to layer five for layer five we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down two quartz stairs on top of these two stone brick top slabs basically with their backs facing each other like so in between those stairs we're going to place down a narrow brick half slab followed by one and two more that stick out from those uh, stairs like so we're going to place down signs here on the sides of these two half slabs, like that. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves iron trap doors. And we're going to place down iron trap doors here on the bottom of those slabs as well. And we actually need to delete that stone button to uh, make room for that, but just like that. After that's finished, we're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves stone brick slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four stone brick slabs coming off those two, that uh, another brick slab. And we're also going to place down iron trap doors on the bottom there, uh, just like that to make our gun barrel. With uh, that finished, uh, we want to go and then grab ourselves a polished andesite, or sorry, just uh, regular wool blocks again. Um, and we're just going to go and basically place down a row of three behind the quartz stairs and all that stuff of uh, our wool blocks going across. We're then going to go and grab ourselves a stone brick stair. We're going to place down a stone brick stair on both sides like that on top of this up, or, uh, stone brick top set. We're also going to place down a stone brick stair back from it, so we turn this stair into a corner stair like so. In between these blocks, or in between these stairs, again, we're going to go. We're just going to go ahead and put down a, you know, random assortment of blocks going across like that. On both sides here, we're going to place down a quartz full block. Uh, we also want to go in again, take our wool, and just kind of randomly go across here, trying to avoid any kind of pattern like that. And we're also going to grab ourselves a spruce wood fence post and place it coming off this stone break stair here, on both sides of the turret. Um, after that, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves some uh, cobblestone walls here we're gonna place down a row of three across here of um, 
you know, wool blocks and all that. Um, once that's finished, we're then going to place down a cobblestone wall on both sides like that. We then want to place down another row of three of uh, wool blocks all the way across. And then we're going to place down again a cobblestone wall on both sides. With that complete, we're then going to place down one uh, wool block coming off the center there. Followed by a stone brick stair like this on both sides. After that's all finished, we're going to grab ourselves a skeleton skull. Over here on the right side, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like that. We're also going to grab ourselves some spruce wood stairs. We're going to place down an upside down spruce wood stair coming off this uh, cobblestone wall. Followed by an upside down spruce wood stair like that um, to create a corner stair. Over here on the opposite side, however, we're going to place down a uh, uh, cyan, uh, hard cyan stained clay block like that. And we're also going to place down, we're going to break this cobblestone wall and place down one located right there as well. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame and also some, a stone button. We're going to place down item frames on the side there of those blocks. Followed by a stone button on the uh, side of the science snake block as well. Uh, just like that. Once you guys have uh, that all complete, uh, that's going to nearly do it. The last thing we need to do is just place down a stone button on the back here. On this wool block on the back of the turret. Once that's all complete, that's going to do it for uh, layer 4. Five, and with that we can go ahead and move on to our last final layers which are basically going to uh, be layers six seven eight and nine we're going to put the final details on top of the turret and also put the antenna on so with that let's move on to our last final layers all right guys so going ahead and continuing on uh, for our last final layers here we're going to start off by grabbing ourselves a iron trap door we're going to place it down on top of this narrow brick slab after that we're going to place down a quartz stair like that after it followed by a stone brick half slab after the quartz stair uh, to the right side here of the quartz stair, we're going to place down an iron trap door, followed by an iron frame with a random kind of colored wool block in it. You can choose whatever color you want. Uh, just go ahead and put down that colored block in it. After that, we're then going to place down a redstone repeater like this on both sides. Flick back as far as we can make it like that. Uh, with that complete, over here on the left side of the turret, we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull like this. Uh, we're then going to place down a uh, full. Uh, wool block followed by skeleton skulls basically all surrounding the rest of this uh, wool block and then on top of the uh, wool block itself we're going to grab ourselves a stone button and place down a stone button on top of it uh, we will need to go and grab ourselves a redstone repeater again we're going to place down one right here on this full block just like that uh, once you have that complete uh, the last thing we need to do is put this uh, pretty much antenna on so very simply uh, we're going to place down one and two iron bars going up like this we're going to need to go ahead and kind of create um, some blocks underneath here so that we can just place down darker defense gates all the way around uh, this uh, full block here or the other side this uh, iron bar right here uh, to kind of create this effect of something that looks like that and we will need to re replace our redstone repeater so kind of a simple fix and we also go ahead and uh, break those blocks that we placed down around it and should get something that looks like that going ahead and continuing on we're going to place down a narrow iron bar on top of it followed by a quartz full block coming off of it like this for, for like a little flag that came off the back here or I'm just gonna place down a red or sorry a stone button there on both sides like that um, with that finished we're then gonna go ahead and place down a uh, iron bar on top of it this one right here like this and we're gonna go and surround this iron bar with skeleton skulls so all the way around just like that to create the top there that uh, radio or that kind of some kind of uh, communications antenna anyways when that's all done that's gonna pretty much do it for the Valkyrie Chronicles um, Elderless medium tank uh, overall pretty interesting build pretty unique it's something different uh, for sure and was a uh, pretty interesting and fun build to put together hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial if you guys do to, do end up using this design I do ask you guys give me proper credit for it this be the thing from the side of the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites just be sure to give me proper credit for this build if you do decide to use it other than that guys that's going to do it for this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been Garrett2f4 and I'll see you guys next time